Hello everyone. Tonight I would like to talk for a couple of minutes about the price of freedom. We hear all the time that freedom isn't free and I believe that. What I don't believe is that America needs whiners who act like freedom is the only thing that matters, especially when we've got terrorists trying to destroy this country and more freedom than most of us can handle. Science has shown that when people have too many options, it only confuses them. And if you've ever strolled the cookie aisle at a supermarket, you know just what I'm talking about. But I go on the internet and all I see is everybody complaining that we're losing our freedoms. The government is reading my email and tracking my car and listening to my phone calls. Well, what are you talking about and where are you going that's so damn interesting? If you're one of them whining complainers, maybe the government should know what you're up to because for all they know, you're not a real American. Real Americans know that if you're not doing anything wrong, you've got nothing to worry about. Lord knows I've got nothing to hide. I don't care if the government knows my favorite football team, who I'm rooting for on Dancing with the Stars, what kind of toppings I like on my pizza, or that I bought a new dress to wear to church on Sunday. But if watching your every move and hanging on your every word keeps me safe, that's a price I'm willing to pay to live in a free country. Can't get through a whole day anymore without hearing someone bitch and moan about the TSA. How is it possible that so many people don't understand flying is like driving or anything else? A privilege, not a right. Now, I don't fly myself, but I feel safer knowing police are on the trains and checking everyone who rides the bus, and if we need them to secure the American way of life in our schools and stadiums and on our streets, well, that's a price I'm willing to pay to live in a free country. People complain about the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act just because they give the government the power to do whatever it wants to do whenever it wants to do it. But I happen to like knowing my government is defending patriots like me and if it means they have to lock some of you people up and throw away the key without ever telling anybody why, well that's a price I'm willing to pay to live in a free country. Things are so crazy now, we've even got health nuts complaining because it's against the law to drink raw milk. How ridiculous is that? We must have 20 different kinds of milk down at the Piggly Wiggly, but they got to have theirs raw just to be different. The government says raw milk is diseased milk and they've got no reason to lie. But I read the other day there's raw milk in vending machines in France. So if you want to drink raw milk and never take a bath, move. No one's stopping you. As for me, if the government says I can't drink raw milk, that's a price I'm willing to pay to live in a free country. Government says we can't cause a ruckus in their buildings or at their meetings. Behave yourself or stay home. Government says we can't save rainwater. Don't save rainwater and there won't be a problem. Government says it's time to mow the lawn. Mow your damn lawn. Government says we don't need to know if we're eating GMO foods. I'm sure they know what they're doing. And as long as I'm eating, not knowing what I'm eating is a price I'm willing to pay to live in a free country. Nowhere in the Bible does it say anything about personal privacy or the government having to listen to us or count votes and I don't remember Jesus saying we should drink raw milk or save rainwater or let our grass grow 10 feet tall or not eat genetically modified foods. The Quran might talk about all that stuff but if you want to live under Sharia law move to Brazil and let that Chavez guy run your life. The worst whiners are the dope fiends, though. No one needs to smoke marijuana, and potheads make me sick. First of all, real Americans are free to drink 
beer. And we've got plenty of choices there. And if God wanted us to use marijuana as medicine, he wouldn't have invented pharmaceutical companies. More than anything else, I'm tired of people always talking about the Constitution. Most of us would be embarrassed to drive a car that's five years old. We don't like to wear last year's fashions, and we wouldn't eat a burger and fries we bought a week ago. The Constitution must be a hundred years old. Times have changed. I've barely been out of my parents' house 45 years, and there's no telling what kind of trouble I might get into if I was allowed to just do whatever I wanted. Maybe I would have OD'd on heroin by now or had 20 abortions. And I hope the government makes those illegal because a few sluts dying in back alleys is a very small price to pay for living in a free country. I know I'm just a woman, but I'll bet a lot of men agree. It is the duty of every American to appreciate everything our government does for us and we all need to start acting like we're part of one big happy family no one's ever too old to love their daddy and the people who don't love our daddy must love the terrorists so if a few million of them need a little time out in a FEMA camp that's a price I'm willing to pay to live in a free country as a matter of fact, there is no price I wouldn't pay to keep America great, as long as it's at someone else's expense.